Hey guys, this is uh, Richard from Welsh Tech. This is my next video for you. Right, this is the video on testing the thermal paste I got from Streamcom. Uh, it is the TX13. We're going to test it today to see what the thermal performance is like, see what it, how it performs. So, first of all, we're going to start off with the baseline. So, I have got my MX2 from Arctic already on the GPU and on the CPU. So what I'm going to do is run some benchmarks. I'm just going to leave it going for 10-15 minutes, leave it bottom out, and then we'll come back for the video. So, be back soon from Hoto. If you want to purchase, the link will be in the description. Okay, well, we're back. So, let's, uh, let's check after a quick uh, BMW Blender. Um, it finished in 4 minutes 10 seconds, but as I've been running things now, the level and off process should have ha actually happened. So, let's check the thermals. Now, what you can see by here is, right there, 66 degrees. Now, I've got this by here, which by there, see look, 66 degrees, that's the max it hit. Now, it is a little bit warm in Wales right now. Uh, we're kind of in the middle of a heat wave. Where... So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take out, uh, take off the MX2 and put on the TX13 and see what the performance is like. So continue to watch. I will be back. Okay, so here we go. Right, I've uh, put on this thermal paste. Uh, it is very, I will say something, it's very thick. It isn't as watery as some cheap knockoff brand, but let's have a look at these now. Remember, you never put idle temps as a bit, really, because it all depends on the an ambient air around you. But so far, the uh, the idle temps ain't so bad, as you can see by here. But uh, see, look, the lowest it went down to was 31, but it's hovering around 32, 33 degrees. So that's not so bad. That is just when it boots up, it, that, it, this rising feel. But see? Very good idle. So, now, what we'll do is I'll actually leave this on so you can actually see what it's like when it comes to Blender. So we will load up Blender, and I'll just leave this on now so you can see it. We'll... Load up this, we'll press F12, and then we'll go. Right, so. Now. So, do this. Wow. Wow. So far, that is amazing. It's only it in 62 degrees. Obviously, it'll go up from t when the, the load increases. 63, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. I mean, for the, now I have to use two of these because I don't feel for Ryzen anyway for their die size because the IHS is so big. It, it, it requires a bit more thermal paste than it would. Now, it says, it does say P size. On here, but for this, if you're using Ryzen, I wouldn't use just one. I'd use two. No, I use two, but it came out very thick and very high quality. It says high performance thermal paste, but I don't know. I, I, you know, I had them send it out to me. I thought, you know, I'd give it a go, but yeah, I mean, oh, and also I'm using the precision screwdriver set from Hoto today. Uh, it is very elegant, very classy. Um, I'll leave a link in the description if you want to go buy one. Or you can just check me on my Instagram account where I, match, I, I, I tag them on there. I've tagged them on TikTok as well as uh, Twitter. But very good quality uh, precision screwdriver set. Right. So we've got about a minute and 40 odd seconds left no sorry two minutes 20 seconds left and so far it's going up but it's not rising like it was now the highest i had with the other thermal paste was 66 degrees as this is only running in so much i will just leave it to your recording 
Mm. I'm, I'm very surprised. The uh, MX2 obviously is a little bit more watery than anything. It's more of a... It is it's thick, but it's not as thick. This is very thick uh, thermal paste, like uh, thermal grizzly thermal paste. It's very thick and very dense, but it also... You no, know, spreads quite well. Now, it's hitting 65 degrees. I um, test is almost done. One minute, 30 seconds left. I don't think it's going to actually go any higher. Doesn't look like it. it. Looks like it's actually leveled off. 65 degrees. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's going any higher. Nope. Unless, obviously, there's any initial spikes, but I doubt it because the CPU is actually... Uh, pegged at a hundred percent, and it is it in four point one megahertz, four point one, and it's hit in four point two. I have got precision boost enabled, so it will hit it there. Wow! Look at that, sixty-five degrees. That is fantastic. So it's definitely a lot better than the MX2. Now I have got MX2 in a syringe type. And this is the packaging it comes in. As you can see there. Very, very nice. Well, I don't think it's going to... Well, with 22 seconds left, I don't think it's going to get any higher. So it, as you can see, look, from there, it has not budged from 65... Oh, wait, 65.1. Ooh. Is that it? That's it, went straight back to 65. So it's not bad at all. And as you can see, look, it's still boosting. Whoop, and the test is done. Wow, 65 degrees. That was a whole degree uh, cooler than the MX2. Now, there is, there's, there, you know, it, it all depends because Wales is actually going through a heat wave at the moment. It all depends. If I was in winter time, I would probably perform much better. But for a thermal paste that I've never, I've never heard of Streamcom except for the uh, bench benchmark tables they make. They make bench tables for reviewers and all that type of stuff, so you can like, have your own bench and stuff with your own um, your own motherboard and stuff. Bench tables. Never heard of them unless I laughed. I didn't know they did thermal paste until I heard that they was, they'd uh, send me out some. So I messaged them, I asked them, I thought, why not? Uh, one thing too, it says one tree planted for every purchase. So if you purchase a packet, they will actually plant a tree. It's to help our environment as well as for future generations. So... I was very surprised. I am actually fa oh, that is fantastic. Um, if I end up using it all up, I will end up having Streamcom send me some more. Uh, I have got some things uh, happening with Thermal Grizzly. I've also reached out to Thermorite, um, Herman. I've reached out to so many different brands. Uh, I'm hoping to get something, but yeah. This is Richard for Welsh Tech. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. And I will be back. Goodbye.